suis né passage de la bonne graine. J'en ai pris la graine et pour longtemps. Je travaille comme un chien toute la semaine. Je vous jure que le patron il est content. So we're here in the Passage de la Bonne Grain, which means the passage of the good grain. Historically, this passage was uh, for storing grain, which came, was brought in by horses. In a way, it's a very essential passage for the life of uh, Paris. We have been living here now for 31 years. I didn't notice the passageway, actually, until I married Jean because uh, she sings a song by Edith Piaf, which begins with Je suis né, Passage de la Bonne Crème. I was born on the passage of the good seed. So it has a double meaning for me. It's got the granary, the seed, but it's also a passageway between the womb, uh, the semen entering the womb, the seed entering the womb, and then coming back out again. Mes amis se sont mis en colère C'est pas bien malin ce que tu fais là Faut ce qu'il faut mais toi tu exagères Tu verras qu'un jour tu regretteras Je m'en fous pas mal Il peut m'arriver n'importe quoi Je m'en fous pas mal C'est mon dimanche qui est à moi C'est peut-être banal Mais ce que les gens pensent de vous Ça m'est égal, je m'en fous. In 1985, then, I wrote a sonnet about this passageway. In the passage of the good grain, a voice was born like the music of spheres in Plato. Grania un gor gra a chana quin vrn, a chasan un chrine o war gotorn. The arena and filioft a gutti fir chiol, oidon a solish a rim lachmine, don't a belish a war a gahir yaroil, don't fobble a chul a ran of ashtroin. Da kinna kur fwing un veloid revlodi, da saira ger romancy un vive, old sar ever nua. Er crown revlodi, garan krigirik ko kno kno sig saif. Da ga irumi da shil shilakoin pas ashte rime e pas ashte broin. So that is the Irish uh, original. It's important for Irish children or people of mixed Irish origin to hear the language, not to understand it to speak it, but that it should know it exists, you know, that it is a possible enrichment to know it exists. This is the Passage de la Mandor, which means the passage of the Golden Hand, so-called because there was a very famous bone setter and chiropodist who used to live here. It was around here that the French Revolution began because the uh, artisans were very strong uh, participants in the revolution. Uh, they were called the sans culotte, which uh, literally means without pants, but in fact it meant they didn't have short pants, they had long pants. Our building and uh, that all that passageway, well, our way, it was owned by uh, the Baron Rush, and we bought our flat from the Baron's family. Lovely. So he owned they the whole street. They didn't get them all during the revolution. <laughs> among, <laughs> among other things, you know. Yeah. But it has a very interesting facade, very unusual. There was a woman who opened a business there, oh, back in the 90s, I suppose, yeah. June, was it? And she made a, a whole fresco of animals. The police headquarters is part of the building. And during the Second World War, it was a German barracks. And our, uh, our flat uh, had the only Jewish family at the time who disappeared. So my third book is about uh, the uh, research for that family, what it's like to have your children uh, reared in a place uh, which is a site for a crime against humanity. He was a little boy during the war and the German soldiers were parading outside there and he was passing by and the German officer gave him a huge bar of chocolate 
which was like gold, you know, the war, they were starving. And he ran up the staircase here, up to his mother, and he said, Mom, Mama, look what I've got, what the nice man gave me. She took the chocolate and she threw it into the fire. From that day on, he felt this terrible anger against his mother. And he was, he was over 70 when he was telling me this. He said, now he understands why she threw it into the fire. But he still feels the resentment. It was a total shock to him, you know. Mm. He, he hadn't a clue, of course, what was happening. You know? exactly. So they came in here, the Germans then, and they took away the family that <laughs> was living in our flat.